Megan? What are you doing? Understandable, really. Your boss despised you, your peers treated you with contempt, and so you decided to get revenge. No. You stole company secrets, an innocent prank at first, almost just to see if you could get away with it. But when David found out, boy, things just got real messy. I mean, it was either you or him. The only question is, after the horror of what you did, after you took the life of an innocent person, could you still live with yourself? Uh huh. Yes. yes. Stop! 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 Hi, Megan. Oh, so you're not gonna play with me? You don't want to play, huh? I don't care. You're just a stupid rubber doll with fake hair. <gasps> Ow! Let go! You need to learn some manners, Brandon. <laughs> you know what happens to bad boys that don't mind their manners? They grow up to be bad men. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Brandon? <laughs> Megan? This is the part where you run. Look, I don't want you to be thinking about this too much tonight before you go to bed. Obviously, what happened is a terrible, terrible tragedy. But just know that that boy is in, um... That boy's in a better place now. Okay? Anyway, if there's anything that you want to tell me that you didn't want to tell the police officers... I didn't say anything. Megan just said Brandon took her and ran off. 
From the toy table? Yeah. Right, Megan? In a nutshell. You haven't seen her dog by any chance? No. Bullshit! Ma'am, you need to stay on your property like we agreed. Nobody's seen him since the incident with your niece. A little suspicious, Gemma, don't you think? Are we really gonna go with her side of the story? Have you been inside her house? If you had, you'd know that that dog is probably dead under a pile of Victorian baby strollers. You should talk to the other girl that she's got staying here. The one who's always looking out the window at 3 a.m. It's not a girl, it's a toy. That's a toy? Are you serious? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anything. All right. Does she think we took Dewey? Oh, who knows? I, she just needs someone else to blame, but she'll get over it. I know it was you, Gemma. I know it was you. You just wait and see what happens. Hey, 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 don't go with you. I just said not to come up here. Come on. Come on. Hey. She'd be banging on this. Transparency looks good. Yeah, well, for what we paid for it, it better. Okay, here we go. Happy. Okay. Sad. Confused. Wait, wait, stop. Why is her face doing that? What is happening? I, I don't know, Gemma, it's your code. Yeah, thanks, I know it's my code, Cole, but she doesn't look confused, she looks demented. What do you want me to do? You want me to take the skin back off? Well, she's not responding. So. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit, it's just stuck. Be just be careful. Hey, don't tear it. No, I'm not gonna tear Oh, Oh, no, 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 no. Shit! Okay, so what do we do? I guess we gotta open the door. Jem. What? in the name of ever-loving Christ, is this. David, if you just give me a minute to explain. Is this why you move your lab down here, Gemma? So you can keep secrets from me? No, no, no. We, we talked about this, David. I... Yeah, we talked about you putting it on ice until you had a new pets model. How much did you spend on this? Are you even aware of the shit tsunami that just swept in over this fursy spot? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, are we supposed to be worried about that? It's a ripoff. You're right, Gemma. It is a ripoff. They do the exact same thing we do. And you know what else? They do it for half the price! I told you we needed to go simpler. Didn't I tell her? Six months ago, I begged you. I begged you to please give me an option I could put on a shelf for 50 bucks. And we are working on it, I promise. Yeah. But, David, the only way to stay ahead of the competition is to come up with toys that are too advanced to replicate. I know the tech on pets seems more complex than it needs to be, but that's only because I was using it as a launch pad for something bigger. In each pet, we installed a listening model that targets conversational patterns among kids. You did not just tell me that. Look, I know she doesn't look like much now, but I promise if you just let us show you what Megan is capable of, you will realize that this is what we've been working towards. Megan? Model 3 generative Android. Megan, for short. Tess, load up the intro simulation. Now. Yeah. Megan, say hi to David. As in the boss, David? Well, I guess I should call you dad. <laughs> Allow me to tell you a little bit about my wormhole. I was born in a sandwich hat and I wolf many cabbages. Uh, uh, this isn't supposed to happen, obviously. Just give me one moment. Sorry about the noise. Jim? Uh, one second, Cole. It's probably just a race condition. It'll literally take me a minute to fix. Jim, it's not a race condition. I might have forgotten to put in the polypropylene barrier. Oh, no. God. Tess, turn it off. I want the PES prototype on my desk by Friday. And I want you to take this cyborg puppet show and put it in a dark closet where it belongs.